An alligator attack claiming the life of an elderly woman. Neighbors say the nearly 11 foot gator dragged her into the water while she was walking her dog. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa is live in Fort Pierce with the latest. Christian. This happened in a senior community. You can imagine how shaken people are here, especially one woman we spoke to who says she tried to help. I never woke up this Monday morning and thought that I would be watching someone die, taken under by an alligator. 77-year-old Carol says it was just past noon. Her 85-year-old neighbor was walking her dog. And I heard kind of like a commotion and I looked out and I saw the dog and I saw my neighbor. Carol first called 911 and ran, trying and hoping she could help. I just remember her coming up and, you know, pushing her hair out of her face and getting air and I'm saying, swim toward the paddle boat, swim. And she says, I can't, the gator has me. I got my longest shepherd's hook to try to hook her or hit him or do something. Hit him on the nose or something. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything, which haunts me right now. Trappers with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission arriving to the Spanish Lakes Fairways retirement community in Fort Pierce. The dog survived, but it was too late for the woman. The gator was 11 feet long. It was definitely a fight. Snagged him on the bottom. He never surfaced. He stayed down the whole time. We were able to get a second hook in him and then get a hard line in him so we could get him up. Carol now warning everybody she sees. Just don't go near the water. Don't get your pets out there. I'm so sorry. So am I. So am I. Again, we're told the victim's dog is in good condition. Authorities did not identify the 85-year-old woman. Neighbors say her name was Gloria. They say she was a widow and describe her as a really nice lady. Live in Fort Pierce, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.